that the Amphicar is road tested, Alan's ready to take her for the big dip. The engine's humming and his baby's cruising smoothly. All the restoration pains are forgotten. Everything looks good, at least on the road. Today is the official launch date for the Amphicar. Up until now, it's just been a fun restoration, but when you're taking a car into the water, things go through your mind. What if it sinks? What if the props don't turn on? What if nobody can come out and get you? Alan's team assembles at the nearby marina for the water test. Now the moment of truth has come. Will the Amphicar live up to its billing and float or sink the team's dreams? No one's more excited than Alan. I'm going forward, looking down this steep incline, saying, all right, here we go. It was scary. I cannot believe I'm doing this. <laughs> I swear, this is not normal. In just a few moments, it's clear the hardworking crew has scored again. It floats! The Amphicar passes this test with flying colors, and Alan is safe and dry. The doors and wheel axles are sealed, and the exhaust sits high above the water line. Navigation is a snap. Just turn the steering wheel for port or starboard, and you've got an adventure on the high seas. Once I was in the water, I didn't even think about it anymore. It just kind of became this fun Disney ride kind of thing. Get out and go. Does he know where the bilge pump is? <laughs> <laughs> On land or water, test drives can be hazardous. There goes that stick. I can't believe all that time with body work that he just went through a big pile of sticks. Oh, my god. Uh-oh. I don't see any prop action. Uh, I don't know if I can, I can keep this up. I'm only 27 years old. I feel like I'm going to have a heart attack. Alan's not stressing. He's cruising. The Amphicar seems to be seaworthy, essential for a high resale. <laughs> At the moment, things are looking profitable with the Amphicar high and hopefully totally dry. Back on dry land where everybody feels safe. We got collateral damage. It's bone, man. Yeah, it broke a prop. That's OK. Hit that tree limb. You got a little bit of water in there. Not much. Not that much. It's yeah. typical. <laughs> Success. Take it in the water, guys. Door shut. Yeah, it was moving. With no major leaks and only minor damage, it's time to push the limits with a few more bodies on board. Go ahead, guys. But car boat cruising isn't for everyone. I don't know about three people. <laughs> you guys are crazy. <laughs> hey, get out of here. Just what effect the extra weight will have on the Amphicar's seaworthiness is a big question. What has become clear is that taking a boat ride in a car is something special. Sitting in the driver's seat, getting in there and doing it for yourself is an entirely different story. That's one thing I don't think I will ever do in my lifetime ever again, is drive from land into water. It's the getting back to land from the water that can be tricky and a little scary. It is hard to steer. You gotta be moving. We're taking on water. We're taking on water. We're taking on water. You know, can you imagine you drive and you don't know what to do, all of a sudden saying, water's coming in, water taking on water, water's coming in, then what do you do? False alarm, the Amphicar is seaworthy, but the passengers are another story. <laughs> this is great, you gotta love this. They were so scared because they were like, ah, oh, we're taking on water. We have all that weight in the car and they're shaking it from side to side, some water does come in. Now got a bilge, man, that bilge is blowing water out. Yeah! But a little water won't stop this Amphicar. It's been successfully sailing the seas since the 1960s. 40 years later, the Amphicar still delivers. 